Hey, I'm Jesse Hunt with Unofficial. We're a web design and digital marketing agency located in downtown Memphis. Since 2002, I've been helping Mid-South businesses just like yours improve their websites and find more customers on the internet. Today, I'm going to perform a video website audit on your website that will show you some areas for improvement that might be hurting your business. The entire audit will take 15 to 20 minutes and should leave you substantially more informed about what's working and what's not working so well on your website. I hope you'll find the audit informative and that you'll keep me in mind if you ever need some help uh, working on your existing website or building a new one. Thanks a lot for watching. Let's get started. Hey Steve, so as you can see, here, uh, we're here on the home page of your website, stevejasmine.com, and uh, what I want to do is take a couple minutes, click through the pages on your website, uh, make some observations and, and talk about what I'm seeing here, and then from there we'll click through, we'll look at some tools that Google provides us with and kind of get a feel for what Google thinks about your website. We'll look at a few search results and see how you're ranking in, in some of Google's search results. Uh, then we'll come back to your website and look at a couple different utilities that I've got installed here on my computer to get a better feel for what's happening behind the scenes on your website. So when I land here on your website, the first thing I notice is this big picture of, uh, of a kitchen. Uh, I'm assuming that you probably did the, uh, the cabinets in this kitchen. Looks really nice. I think, uh, I think the big picture is really good there. Uh, my only suggestion for that might be that maybe this picture should rotate and show other pictures of work you've done or, uh, or maybe randomly change pictures every time somebody comes back to the home page so it's a different picture each time. Something like that just to show more samples of the work that you do. But uh, overall, I think when I first land on the home page, the overall impression is nice. I think it, it looks good. Um, I, uh, the, the wood background here is, is a neat touch given that you, you work with wood and, and that kind of thing. Uh, I, I would say, I would encourage you to put your contact information in the header. So maybe find a spot up here in the, the top of the website where you could include your address and phone number information. I see that you've got it down here on top of this picture, but it doesn't really jump out at me in this spot right here. Um, because it's it's mixed in with the rest of the text. You want to make it super easy for people to get in touch with you whenever they're ready to make contact. Uh, I see that you've got a contact form here on the left pa left side of the page. I think that's good. Every website should uh, I, I like every I like every website to have a contact form where people can get in touch with you whenever they're ready to to talk business. Uh, I might encourage you to move that contact form maybe to to put a, maybe a small contact form horizontally at the bottom of this image or something just so you don't have to scroll because when we're here at the top of the page uh, I can't see that contact form so if I just landed on your website and wanted to instantly make contact with you I'd have to scroll down in order to get to that form I think it might be better if it was up here where you didn't have to scroll beyond that this content here if I had to guess without actually physically counting the words I would guess that this is probably about 75 words of text I would encourage you to add more text to every page of your website. Google really, Google really likes websites that have lots of information on them. And so uh, by um, adding more text to the pages, you'll increase the likelihood that you'll rank well in the Google search results. So definitely think you should have more text here. Maybe I would say shoot for somewhere in the four to 500 word range. Um, and that's, it doesn't necessarily mean you need one great big super long chunk of text, uh, but add some text, have some horizontal kind of areas of pictures and things to break it up, give people bite-sized chunks of 100 or 200 words, and, uh, and, and put a couple different sections of text on the page, and I think you'll, you'll find that your search engine rankings will improve as a result uh, of doing that. Next here, click on the About Us page. Um, so this page, obviously you don't have the big header image. So on this page, there's no pictures that tell me anything about, about your business. Uh, I would say either have another, have a small header image at the top or something that, that kind of, uh, uses pictures to illustrate what you do or either that or incorporate some pictures down here in the body area of the website somehow. But I think adding some pictures would liven this page up a little bit. Um, Again, text, this one's got more text than the home page, but I think it could use uh, more still, so I would recommend adding some additional text. 
Uh, I do like this over here on the right. You've got uh, contact info, Woodwork Solutions. You've got your street address, phone number, fax number, email address. I think that's good. Uh, let's go back to your homepage. I didn't see that there. Uh, yeah, you don't have your contact information on the homepage. I would highly recommend that you add this contact information on your homepage. Uh, Google really likes to see consistent name, address, and phone number information across every page of a website. Uh, and I'll talk more about that in just a minute. We'll come back to that. Uh, here on your Contact Us page, uh, you've got your address information and a contact form. I, I think that's that's pretty good. Again, I think you need some pictures here. Make this page lively. If if somebody's getting ready to get in touch with you to, to hire you to do some carpentry or do some cabinet work, um, don't let them come to the Contact Us page and then change their mind because it's, it's boring and, and they can't see any proof of your quality of work. Uh, stay consistent. Give them pictures of, of nice work that you've done, pictures of different jobs. Show them what your capabilities are every step of the way. Uh, contact us. I'm sorry, services rather. Uh, this page definitely needs more information. Uh, definitely needs pictures. If I'm coming to a page to read about your services, I want to see pictures that illustrate your capabilities. And here you are talking about interior and exterior doors and crown molding and baseboards and stairs, wall units, cabinets. I, I think you should have pictures of all of that kind of stuff. I'm going to take it a step further and say I really think you should have a page for each of your main services. Uh, and I'm not sure how you break that down. If you break that down so far as to do, you know, crown molding and baseboards as a page and doors as a page and stairs as a page or if you keep it a little more simple than that and you just do carpentry and cabinetry or something like that uh, but the more pages you create especially if you're creating pages that um, that are specific to service areas where the the names of the pages and the the verbiage that you use on the page uh, the where those pages, page names describe keywords that people would search for you in in Google, um, that's going to help you to to rank better in the Google search results. So adding more pages specific to your services will go a long way in in uh, in your search engine rankings, I believe. All right, uh, I'm going to click over now. Let's go to this tab. So this is a, a tool that Google provides for website developers. It's called the Mobile Friendly Test, and Google wants to see that your website's mobile friendly. They want to see that it's easy to use on iPads, iPhones, Android devices. Uh, and as you can see here, Google says, awesome, this page is mobile friendly. So that, that looks pretty good. I think that's okay. Um, I, uh, I, don't, I don't have much critique there. I think good job for, uh, for being mobile friendly. Website looks pretty good in Google's preview here, so uh, I'm going to move on from that. Good job. Next thing I did here, I just searched Woodwork Solutions Olive Branch MS. What I was trying to do is I was trying to get Google to give me results specific to your business, and that's exactly what they did. Um, specifically, I was hoping to see this listing over here in the right. So now if we come back to your home page, uh, no, rather your About Us page, because that's where you had your name, address, and phone number. So I talked earlier about Google wants to see really consistent contact information across every, every page of your website. There's an acronym for, for what that's called. It's, it's NAP, N-A-P. It stands for Name, Address, and Phone Number. And Google wants to see that the contact information on your website for your name, address, and phone number matches up on every page of your site, and it then matches up with your Google local listing and your Google Plus page, and that that also matches up with all the other websites on the internet that link back to you, so if, uh, or that, that, that mention you, rather. So basically, the more consistent your contact information is across the internet, the more trustworthy you appear to Google. And the more trustworthy you appear to Google, the more traffic they'll send you. And obviously the more traffic they send you, the more leads you get, and the more leads you get, the more sales you make, and the more return on investment you get from your website. So, um, so here on your About Us page, if we look here, it says Woodwork Solutions, so that's, that's the name. Uh, the address, you show 155 Downing Street, number 12, Olive Branch, MS, 38654. And then phone number 901-483-0886. Now let's come over here and look at how Google has your listing. So they've got your, your name as Woodwork Solutions. That's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Uh, your address, however, 
they just show Olive Branch MS. They don't show address information for your business. I think that's a misstep. I think uh, I think you should really optimize this listing here to make sure that it includes your full address. That will uh, that will help you to improve the likelihood that you show up in these Google in Google's local search results. Uh, beyond that, uh, it shows your hours rate to five. Phone number four eight three zero eight eight six. Is that what we had over here? Yeah. So the phone number is accurate and consistent. Uh, so really, this listing is missing address information. That's the biggest thing. There are some other little things that we could do to improve this this local listing here and and make it more likely to show up in the search results. But the big one is, is getting your address information consistent. One other thing I noticed here, so I mentioned that your address, your contact information should be consistent across the internet. And so I noticed this white pages listing. Well, when I click on it, it won't pull up. Um, well, I'll try to illustrate what I was going to say anyway. Let's try one more, and if it doesn't work, then I'll just tell you what I was, what I was saying. Okay, this worked. All right, so when I click on this, I come to the yellow pages, and here it's got Woodwork Solutions, so the name, the name is consistent. Uh, if you look, though, 662-890-8954, that's not consistent with what's on your website. So ideally, you want to either include this 890 phone number on your website, or if this isn't an accurate phone number for you anymore, you really need to, to contact some of these websites and get them to update your information uh, so that your, your phone number information is consistent across the internet. Now, that, that requires a fairly extensive amount of work to, to do that, but it can have a, a pretty profound uh, uh, effect on your local rankings. The other thing here is showing 7170 Fox Creek Drive and Olive Branch as opposed to this Downing Street. So uh, your name, address, and phone number information definitely has some consistency problems that I think, I think need to be addressed. If, uh, if you want to learn more about how to do that, things that you could do to fix that, I'll be glad to give you some pointers if you want to give me a call. If, uh, if you say, you know what, I just don't have time to deal with that, don't care to deal with it, I'm a carpenter and I want to do carpentry and I want somebody else to do my internet marketing, then uh, give me a shout and I'll be glad to do it for you. So. Moving on here, uh, I did a couple searches in Google. Basically, I tried to put myself in the shoes of somebody that might be looking for your services. I said, okay, if I was, uh, if I were looking for the services that uh, that Steve has to offer, what would I type into Google to to find them? And uh, and so the first thing that came to mind was Memphis cabinets. Um, if we look here in these local results, uh, K and K custom cabinets, kitchens unlimited, and designer cabinets. So you're not showing up in these local results. Uh, as we talked about, these local results have a lot to do with your name, address, and phone number being consistent. Also has to do with having good reviews. So if you have lots of reviews on the internet, it can help you to rank better in these results. Uh, and then also some things that you can do on your website can improve your results here as well. So uh, I'd love to chat with you about that if that's something you'd like to learn more about. Below that here we've got organic, what we call organic listings, so uh, or free results. This is uh, these results have a lot to a lot more to do with your website. How the website was built. Do you have the right keywords in the right places, the right number of times? Do uh, uh, do people link to your website? And in, when they link to you, do they use your keywords as link text? How old is the website? As the website gets older, it becomes more trustworthy to Google. So things like that. As you can see, though, in this Memphis cabinet search, you're not showing up anywhere on the first page here of these search results. So I definitely think there's some room for improvement. Memphis is a big geographical area, has a lot of opportunity for, to find new business there, I would think. So um, I, I think that that is something that you should probably focus on is improving the search results to, to appear there in order to get more business. Here I searched Olive Branch Cabinets. Uh, you see Pro Stone Kitchen and Bath, John Greer Cabinet Shop, and Surplus Warehouse all show up here in these local results. You're not showing up at all right now in the local results, so definitely some room for improvement there. Scroll down here to the organic results, and as we scroll through, uh, yeah, you're not showing up at all in the organic results for that particular search either. So. If you're looking for more cabinet business, uh, you're in Olive Branch. Uh, I think you're you're missing the boat on being optimized for these cabinet-related searches. Definitely some things that could be done to to help you get more business uh, from from Google in terms of people looking for for cabinet work. 
Next up, I searched Memphis cabinetry. As you can see, you're not in the local results. We'll scroll down real quickly through the organic results, and uh, and you're not showing up in those results either. So uh, Memphis carpentry, um, this again probably missed opportunity. Finally, I did olive branch carpentry, and uh, on this one, you're you're showing up number one here in the local results. So we finally found the magic uh, magic keyword to get you to show up in the search results. Uh, I'd like to see you showing up more like this on all those other searches that we did. Um, so good to see that you're here though in this one. As I scroll down though through the organic results, you're not showing up anywhere on the first page here in these organic results. So local results up here, these map results, they tend to fluctuate from, from time to time. You know, I can do a search now and do the same search 15 minutes later and, and you might not be here in this number one spot. Uh, just because of the the fluctuations in the way Google serves up, serves up these ads, uh, these these listings down here in the organic results they're a little more stable though they don't change quite as often. So getting you into the local results can can offer a more consistent flow of traffic towards your website. I think we should be looking at how can we improve your website in order to get you into these organic results as well as get you in the local results more consistently on the other other searches we did. All right, coming back to your website, I'm gonna go back to your home page, and I've got this little utility over here on my computer. This is called the Google Tag Assistant. Basically, this scans your website, and it tells us real quickly if you have any Google Tags installed. Uh, it does show that you have one tag installed, and it's uh, luckily, it is the tag that I was hoping to see here on your website. It's called Google Analytics. I'm curious to know if you even realized that you had Google Analytics installed, or if you ever look at your Google Analytics. Uh, basically, Google Analytics scans your website or monitors your website and tracks how many visitors you've got coming to the website, what they're looking at while they're there, uh, how did they get there? Did they come from Google? Did they come from Facebook? Did they come from the Better Business Bureau or, or wherever? Uh, and then what did they do once they, once they were there? Did they click through to your contact page and fill out a contact form? Or did they land on your homepage and immediately bail without taking any action? So it's a really good tool to monitor your, uh, how well your website's working as a marketing tool and be able to track your return on investment. I'd encourage you to install it. It's free software. You just need somebody that understands a little bit about HTML in order to help you, uh, help you install it and, and configure it. But uh, it provides really good data. So uh, I apologize. You've already got it installed. I'm not sure what I'm thinking. You've already got it installed. If you're not monitoring it, start looking at it. It's uh, it's good information. If you want somebody to to walk you through it, um, give me a shout. I'll be glad to go through the data with you and explain what all you're looking at there. But apologize for the confusion there. I got tripped up and and started acting like you didn't already have it installed. But it's already there, so you don't need help with that. Lastly here, this is a one last utility I've got installed on my computer. It's called SEO Quake, and this is a page SEO audit, so page search engine optimization audit. Basically, it scans through the code of your website and tells us real quickly some of the things that have been done to try to improve your search engine rankings in the past, and uh, breaks it out where it's real nice and easy to, to decipher here so I can explain it to you without having to dig through a bunch of code. First thing I want to look at is the title and uh, your title is Custom Woodwork and Carpentry Woodwork Solutions. So if we come back to your website, if you look right up here at the top of the browser, these tabs, that's where your browser will display your title tag, is in that tab. Uh, if we do a Google search, so let's do Woodwork Solutions Olive Branch Mississippi again. And if you look right here at the top of your listing, this is where Google displays uh, your title tag. Now you can tell Google changed it a little bit. You've you've got custom woodwork and carpentry woodwork solutions, and Google switched it around. They said woodwork solutions, custom woodwork and carpentry. Uh, it's, here lately, Google seems to want the business name at the beginning of the title tag. Um, I think your title tag's pretty good, except I really think you need to add some geographical terms to it. So I would make the title tag something more like woodwork solutions olive branch woodwork and carpentry or memphis woodwork and carpentry or something like that by adding that geographical term to the title tag you're going to improve the likelihood that you show up in the search engine results for it next here made a description uh you made a description looks pretty good i won't i won't focus on that too much headings it shows you're missing some of the headings here uh 
Um, usually a heading on a website is a big bold section of text right above uh, paragraph text. So like I would expect this, why choose Woodwork Solutions to be a heading. If we come back over here uh, and look at the headings you got, sure enough, why choose Woodwork Solutions, that's a heading. Unfortunately, they used an H2. Um, I know that probably doesn't mean a whole lot, but headings come in six different varieties from H1 to H6, with an H1 being the most important. Uh, and you should always have an H1 on a page before you have an H2 on a page. You don't have any H1s, but you've got three H2s. Uh, I would recommend adding some H1s to the website and including your keywords in them. That's going to help you to rank better in the search engine results for, for your keywords. So, uh, and I would encourage you to use some geographical terms in those keywords as well. It looks like whoever built your website, they, they use some things like uh, ca custom cabinets and carpentry work, which are good keywords, but they didn't use any geographical terms along with them. And I think it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to try to show up for your website for, say, carpentry work. In general, if somebody's in California, they're not a good prospect for you. We want to make you show up for people that are here in the Mid-South that are looking for carpentry work or they're looking for new cabinets. Uh, so including your geographical terms throughout the website will help you to, to do better at that. Um, let's see, text. They say your text is pretty good. Text to HTML ratio. That must mean you don't have a whole lot of HTML on the website, but I definitely think you need more text. That's going to help you in the search engine results. Beyond that, everything else in this report looks pretty good, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll stop there with that. And uh, I guess I'm going to wrap it up right here, Steve. I don't want to take too long, take up too much of your time, be overwhelming or anything like that, but I hope you found the information that I covered here to be informative and useful. My ultimate goal is to become a resource for you, to earn your trust, and ultimately earn your business. I know you said you're working with some, uh, some company out of California or somewhere. Uh, I want to be your local go-to website guy. So if you need somebody local to help, uh, help make the changes that I've talked about here today, make some search engine optimization improvements to the website, uh, give the website an overall facelift, or whatever you're, you're, you're wanting to do with your website, I want to be the guy to help you do it. So... Uh, I'm going to package this video up and shoot it over to you here in a few minutes by email, and then I'll follow up with you in a couple days to make sure you got the email, see if you had any questions, see if there's anything that I can help you out with. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video, and I look forward to talking to you real soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.